Uh, when I switch lanes, then them doors swing All I'm out the window screaming money ain't a thing Call it automatic bang, bang, bang Call it automatic bang, bang What's up bang. guys, this is DJ Deep 17 And this video is gonna how to make an intro and outro on iMovie 11 This was suggested by one of my subscribers, so I decided to do it Now once you, um, let me get rid of this real fast, there we go Now once you open iMovie and you make a new project library and all you have to do by that is press this little plus button and you create the name of it uh, you'll be introduced with to start a new project select video photos and drag them to this area and this is like where your actual videos that you import go now to make an intro now this is going to be based on how I make my intro so you can just base it off how you would like to do it so to make a title um, all you have to do is go to this T which is titles and you if you just hover over each title with your mouse it will um, uh, it'll list what it looks like when you use it so you can just scroll through all of these and look which one is the best and what I chose was this boogie lights because I thought that looked pretty cool so once you find your title that you want to use you just click and drag over to this first box wait for it to load and now you have a background now you can use whatever background you want but for me I thought the most basic I wanted to use this one but I was like nah this industrial one looks like a little bit cooler so just double click that and wait for it and now it will be right there it says it's four seconds it's your title text now for me, I put DJ Deem 17 presents. Whoops, sorry. DJ Deem 17 presents. And now all you have to do is click done. And now that's basically your introduction, half of your intro. Now to play it, just click this little play button, and that's what it will look like. Now, if you want to change it for less or more than four seconds, all you have to do is double click the title and it'll say duration. And all you have to do is highlight it, put in whatever you want, and click done. It's that easy. Now, for my next title, all I do is um, I put like the subject of what the video is. And I thought a good one for that would be Sideways Drift. And now that one looks pretty cool, so I was like, why not use it? So drag it over here to the right of the one you just made. Wait for it a little. And now you can pick your background again. I like to keep it the same, so I just go with industrial again. Alright, so it's done. Now it says title text goes here, and on the top I do what I'm doing. So let's base it on my iPhone 5 unboxing. So I would type in iPhone 5. Go on this bottom one and type in unboxing and click done. And now that's what it would look like. Now you can press the play button and you can see both of them combined. And now it goes to over here. Now it's a little laggy, it won't be for you because I have this quick time recording. So now what I do is I make it a little interesting and add music to both. Uh, parts so all I all you have to do is go over to this little music icon and now you can choose where you wherever you saved your music you can go to it now I pick my music from my iTunes so it'll look like that so just click this little down arrow and go to music and now all your music that will be in your iTunes library is right here now if you want to search a specific song just go to search music and the song that I always use is Switch Lanes by Tyga because I think it's a really good song and now once you find the song you just want to click and drag and you want to make sure the whole thing isn't highlighted green like that you don't want that now what you want to do is just wait for that to go away you have to move it around a little there you go and just put it right at the beginning now it says eight seconds switch lanes it has the title of the song and how long 
And now for this song, it has a little slow intro. Like, just listen to this for a second. Now that's a pretty boring intro, if you ask me. So all you have to do is go here, go move it all the way to as far as possible, and then you want to click and drag all the way back to the beginning, and now that just moves the song that's being uh, played a little more to the right. So now when you play it, it'll be further into the song. Now it's almost there, so you just want to move it just a little more to the right. Move it back to the left. Drag it all the way over. Play it again. So that's a pretty good spot to put it. So that's how you get a specific part of your song in the intro. Now what you want to do is, at least what I do, is I make a transition into the actual movie part. So what I do is I go to... A, not this, but this one that's right to the right of titles, transitions. Now you can look at all of them. Some of them are actually pretty cool, like this cube one. You have a swap. But the one that caught my eye was the cross blur. So that is the one that I chose. So all you have to do again is just click and drag, move it to the right, and it will look like that. And it will move your music to the right a little more. Now that's for the intro. Now for the outro. Usually when you import a video you put it here and then you drag it up to here and you put it after the transition. But I'm not really putting a um, a main video on this one so I just move right to the outro. Now for my outro I you go back to title. Whoops. Now for the title for my outro I use this far far away one because I thought like a little joke. Star Wars reference. So you just click and drag it, wait for it to load, and it's going to ask for a background again. Of course, I'm going to pick industrial. And now you get to choose what it says. It comes with like some weird, different language. I have no idea. But I put it like, thanks for watching. exclamation mark and then I go down a few and then I put subscribe comment like and that stuff and then I just highlight it all I go to show fonts I don't know what I'm doing right here and then you just click center and it will center it all so and now you can just press play you can have a nice intro, listen to your music, fade into your video, and this would be the end. Now if you think that's a little fast, you have a lot more to put, all you have to do is double click the top part of the outro. Sorry for all the lag, I don't know what's going on. And then duration, let's say you want it for 7 seconds instead of 3.5. And now, I don't know why it didn't just change, but go to 7, enter, and done. Now, I don't know why it's not changing for me right now. It obviously hates me. But it would change to 7 seconds, and then uh, instead of rolling for 3.5, it'll roll for 7. Oh, there we go. Alright, I made it 7 seconds. And now you just drag that over. Now it's a 7 seconds. So, just let's, make, let's uh, play it from right here. And it makes it a little slower and makes it roll for 7 seconds. And now I like to insert the uh, same music for my outro also. So I just put in the same clip put it right there and then I just play it from there now I like to try to edit it so it can continue from the intro music so it takes a while to do that but it sounds cool looks good 
So that's basically how to make an intro and an outro on iMovie 11. Thank you for all the suggestions of what I should do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <sighs> Bang, bang, Robbie switch lanes, diamonds in my chain. Been around the world, all the hoes know my name, call it automatic bang, bang, bang.